Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matodo, and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content, and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your tow truck garage inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download all other requirements that's inside my description below and make sure you download this mod too. I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. Don't forget to download native UI.1.7 inside my downloads too. And don't forget to download Map Editor as well, and even Map Builder. Just to let you guys know, when you are downloading Map Builder, okay, the only two things that you must download is Game Config Package and download 1.07. Just download these two guys, and you will be fine. Once you guys have finished completing the downloading process. Then we're going to get straight into it. Now the first thing we must do, okay, is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game. Hover over it, right click and open file location. Now as you guys can see that this folder is a complete clean folder. There's no mods in here, can you guys see? There's actually no mods, so I'm giving you guys proof that there's no mods in here, okay? So before we do start, the most important thing, we must connect our game to OpenIV. So go to OpenIV. Now go to Grand Theft Auto V, Windows. This is the most important thing, guys. You must connect your OpenIV to your game folder, okay? So go to your tools, go to ASI Manager. And then go to ASI Loader, install that. And then install OpenIV.ASI. This application will pop up, just select yes. And then install your open camera. Close the application and just minimize your OpenIV. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to install our requirements. Open up your script hog v extract folder. Now inside that extract folder is a bin folder. Open up that folder and now select dinput8.dll and scripthookv.dll. Drag both files, both of them, inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up. Just select replace files. Now open up your scripthookv.net extract folder. And now select scripthogv.net.asi.dll and .xml. Drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we are going to install our trainers. Open up your trainer V extract folder. Now select trainer V.asi and .ini. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now open up your menu extract folder. And then now select menu stuff folder and menu.asi. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now this is optional. You can download this. This download will be inside my downloads inside my description below. So you can download map reveal and open interiors if you want to. It's totally up to you. Remember guys, this is optional, okay? So open up your map reveal and open interiors extract folder. And inside that folder, there will be three files. Copy all three files and then drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And then that's all you guys got to do. And we have finished installing our requirements. Now the next thing we are going to do is right click on your game folder. 
and refresh and right click again and then create a new folder and name that folder scripts make sure you spell scripts right with the s at the end press enter once and press enter again and now you'll be redirected to your scripts folder now we are going to install map editor open up your map editor extract folder and then now exit out of there and then now all you guys got to do okay is copy all the files that's inside your extract folder and drag it inside your scripts folder that's all you guys got to do and then now exit out of your extract folder now open up your native UI extract folder and then now all you guys got to do is select your native UI.dll file and drag it inside your scripts folder as well this will pop up okay just replace the files and that's all you guys got to do and now exit out of your extract folder and now your map editor works now go to your granted order v main folder and now we are going to install our map builder now to install map builder make sure you go to your gc package and then now make sure you go to your game config package dot oiv and drag it onto your desktop I have already done that so I don't need to do it now the next thing we are going to do is open up your open IV and now go to your tools again guys and then go to your package installer and then go to game config package .oiv, and now open that file then next go to install and then go and install it into your mods folder and then confirm installation now this installation may take about a minute or two minutes sometimes it takes a few seconds so i'm going to fast forward this part okay guys and now we are back it took about 30 seconds so that's pretty fast now all you guys got to do next okay is do not run the game just yet close the application then go to tools again and repeat the process package installer and this time select community props 107.oiv and open that file and now all you guys got to do is install it and install it into your mods folder and then confirm installation and that's all you guys got to do now guys with this part this will take about uh, one hour 30 minutes or 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 20 minutes it all depends on your PC performance so I'm going to pause the video and I will see you guys once the installation is completed and we are back again guys so the installation is completed so like always don't run the game just yet just close your application now guys what we are going to do okay is exit out of your open IV because that is completed now the next thing we're gonna do now guys is that we are going to install our mod okay so we already installed map builder we already installed map editor now we're going to install our mod so here's our tow truck mod over here now this is the easiest part of installing the mod okay guys this is the easiest part okay so to install the mod, all you guys got to do, okay, is go to your tow truck extract folder. And then now go to your tow truck garage folder. Now in here, there will be a tow.xml file. All you guys got to do is just click on your tow.xml file and drag it into your granted auto V main folder. And that's all you guys got to do. That is how you install a map mod for map editor. But if you guys want to know how to install a map mod by using YMAP, then I'll show you guys how. But yeah, that's all you guys got to do. Now exit out of your extract folder. Right click, refresh your game folder. And then 
all you guys gotta do next, okay, there's exit out of your game folder and then now right click and refresh your your desktop and then I'll see you guys in the game and we are back with Franklin and what I'm going to do guys is that I'm going to show you guys the um, tow truck garage okay so to spawn the tow truck garage all you guys got to do is press F7 and now the map editor does work okay guys there's proof that it does work so the next thing we, we are what we are going to do is go to load map and then go to file chooser and go right down the bottom and you'll see toad.xml press enter and you'll automatically do just teleport there now as you guys can see down the bottom on your right hand side it's a loading model so either so the map mod is still loading as you guys can see there's a few parts missing so it's still loading just need to wait for a few seconds um i don't know how long maybe a minute or a few seconds so i'm just going to go walk around for a bit it looks like that my game is lagging but it's not because um that's how the map mod works so now my map is finished and it's loaded so what we are going to do is that we're going to go and spawn a vehicle now this is a tow truck garage now let's see if a tow truck can actually fit in here excuse me beep beep oh my goodness oh not enough power that's why so yes the tow truck can fit in here um, there's a few things in here. There's a lot of details. Okay, so I'm going to go and park my tow truck over here closer to the garage. I'm just going to park it right here so we can go around the whole garage and see what it's like. Now, there's a lot of details around here, guys. There's, there's, there's a few NPCs over here. Um, there's a few details around here, a few NPCs. In here, there's a bathroom and a, uh, a toilet too. There's a lot of detail in here too, guys. Um, a washroom, convenient. A shower, pretty convenient. Uh, there's a few NPCs and details around here too. Uh, there's an office over here. A lot of detail. A staff room over here for the staff to make their cup of tea or make their lunch. And um, there's a security camera over there that's pretty good. Nice details. A lot of details around here too. Now we're going to go outside and check what does it look like outside. Now to those who already seen this garage, you, you guys already seen it in my recent videos too, but the reason why I'm doing this mod because a lot of people have been asking me how to install it. So yeah. Now outside of here, there's a lot of detail too. So yeah, there's a lot of detail out here too, guys. And just to let you guys know, okay, if you got to like cops on you, they won't be able to get you because this is not on the map. Okay, if you guys know what I mean. But yes guys, this mod is pretty cool, so I highly recommend you guys download it, so go and check it out. So I hope you guys do like that mod, because I recently do. It's an awesome mod, okay guys, so go and check it out and download it, okay? If you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then let me know in the comments, okay? And I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out. Just to let you guys, it became really important, okay, that this mod only works on... The latest version of the game so if you guys have a crack game then it does not work on crack versions okay if you guys do have a free game download it okay then it does not work okay so you must buy the game okay guys because a lot of people have been telling me that the game does not work and then i find out that that they got the old version of the game so make sure you guys do buy the game okay to avoid all the error codes and etc too and don't forget guys if you guys do get stuck okay then let me know 
and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys to install this mod or any other mods too. So with that all said guys, I hope you guys do like this video. If you guys did, do smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.